Miss Jessica. I'm back with another fun project for my kindergarten friends. This is a fun little project, um, a little draw along that you can do at home, get creative, let those creative juices flow. Um, we are going to be doing a dinosaur handprint today. I'm not going to show you what it looks like just yet. I want you to kind of draw along with me so you can see the magic happen. Um, so why don't you guys go ahead, get the supplies that you need, and then follow along with me. Okay guys, we are going to make our handprint dinosaur. So the one thing that is really important that you need right now is a white piece of paper because you want to have something to draw on and then you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and your hand. Okay, so what we're going to do is have our paper up ways like this, so vertical, not like this. I want to have it like this and now we are going to start our dinosaur so how you're gonna do this is you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna open it real wide like this and you might want to get the help of a grown-up so that they can trace your hand really good or maybe you want to make a big handprint and you can trace mom or dad's hand so you're just gonna trace your hand like this make sure you don't move it Gonna leave this spot down here open. I've got a lot of rings on my fingers, so I'm gonna just fix those spots where I had my rings. Alright, so you should have your handprint right there, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and give our dinosaur some legs. So here on the bottom, where we have this open spot, we're gonna give him his two legs. So right here, where it ends, you're gonna take a line and you're gonna go straight down kind of a little bit of an angle. And then here on this side, you're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be a little bit shorter, okay? Back leg's gonna be a little bit taller than his front leg, but that's okay. So now you're gonna go from here and draw a straight line over. And from here, straight line the other way. You're gonna take that point right here and this point right here and you're gonna bring it back up to where that belly's gonna be. It's not gonna go up too far. You don't want it to go up too far. And then you're gonna take this one and bring it here. Now this point and this point where those legs are, we're gonna give him his belly. So it's kind of a little bit of a bump that goes from that one to that one. And now we're going to give him his tail. So right here, see right there where that little leg started. We're going to start right there. We're going to go up about halfway between here and your pinky finger. We're going to make a little mark so we know where our tail is going to be. You're going to start at this bump or this dot right here and you're going to go out like this and then you're going to take this dot and go out like that. So you have given my tail. Now we want to erase this line. There, so there's no line there. So now he has two legs and a tail. And now we're gonna give him all his details. So right here, I want my dinosaur to have a big horn on his nose. Okay, so you can put a horn on his nose. Maybe he has more horns. It's up to you. You can decide. And then you're gonna put a circle right here and give him an eye. Fill that in. Maybe give him a little nose. And how about a big smile? There we go. Now our dinosaur's got a big smile. All right, now up here, I know there's a dinosaur that kind of looks like this. He's got kind of these little skin flaps or something between here. I'm sure some of you are dinosaur experts and can tell me what it is, but we're going to start right here and we're going to make like a bump backwards bump, kind of like the bottom of a U. We're going to go up. And then we're gonna go up. See how it looks like the bottom of a U? And then we're gonna go up like that. Alright? Now we're gonna give him some toes on his little feet right here. So, in about right here in the middle of your leg or the bottom of your foot, you're gonna make three bumps. Ready? One, two, three. Do the same thing on this one. Ready? One, two, three. All right, so we have our dinosaur. 
He's got all sorts of fun things on him. I think he needs a few spikes on his head. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Maybe some spikes on his tail. One, two, three, four. You can really make him how you want, but then you're gonna use something to trace him to make him even cooler. So he kind of pops off the page and you kind of make him so you can color him really easily. So I'm gonna use a black marker. You can use a black crayon or a black colored pencil. And you're gonna trace him. Ready? Okay, so now we have finished up our dinosaur. He's got all sorts of spots on him. You can give him stripes, you can make him whatever you want to make him. Then you can take a marker when you're done, create a background, you can put him on some ground, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. So when you're all done, you can show me your awesome dinosaur and show me how you made it your own. All right, guys, so you have finished your dinosaur handprint. Um, when you're done, you can color it, crayons, paint, markers, whatever you want to use. Um, make it however you want, any color you want. And maybe when you're done, you can take a picture of it. Maybe you could take a picture of it um, and put it on the Facebook page, Miss Jessica's Art Room, if a grown-up has Facebook. Um, and in the comment section of this video, you can upload your picture and show me what you have. Up. You can even show me a picture with your smiling face because I do miss seeing your guys' smiling faces all the time. And this is what my dinosaur ended up looking like. I made him blue, put some volcanoes in the background. He's got all sorts of spots on him. But you can show me what your dinosaur looks like. I would love to see it. You can make lots of dinosaurs and keep you busy, keep you creative. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!